Hello everybody, let's learn how to use the convolution reverb inside Unreal Engine and also look at the way how you can bring your favorite VST reverb plugin into Unreal Engine using or creating an impulse response from that. So this is the reverb we will be recreating. Hey, 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 hello my friends. Okay, it's just a, just a plate, just a preset, just for testing purposes. And in order to create an impulse response, we will use reapers, reverb, add file and you will have this option to create a test tone it's just a sign sweep four seconds is enough 48 kilohertz all right already created that one so bam overwrite just so you know how this works and put it on the track so this will play back the reverb will do its thing and because it's set only to wet we will only hear the response of the reverb Let's make a quick fade out at the end, so just just to avoid pops. Okay. Check the levels, it's a bit too loud. Alright, I'll live with that. I'll make the time selection a bit longer just to make sure that all the reverb tail is captured in this render. So um <clears throat> sweeped bedroom okay we're gonna export that as 32-bit floating point time selection da, 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 da. and let's render this out beautiful now inside reverb we can deconvolve so like from a recorded room response of a sweep and using the original sweep the plugin will create an impulse response 32-bit, noise floor 120, all right, let's actually make it 140, just for fucks and giggles. Okay, there's the file. Mm, let's check it out. I export, there we go. That's the file right there. Uh, it's a bit long, obviously. I think it's as long as, as a sweep, right? No, it's actually, okay. It's as long as the reverb goes and then it automatically cuts. Beautiful. It's a bit quiet though, so let's let's make that normalized louder and check where it actually stops being useful. So around here is actually um, the level is already like super low at like 60 minus 60 dB. There's no useful information there anyway. So let's uh, fade this out a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Render this again. Exports um, IR bedroom 0 dB to show that it's normalized. This time we're exporting to 16 bit because we're gonna put this file into the Unreal Engine. Let's render this out. Oh, yeah, by the way, to see how it sounds, oh, well, obviously you need to see how it sounds. Uh, let's load in the file. It's um, bedroom 0 dB apply some gain to it and have a listen hey hello my, hey, hey, hello, my friends hey 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 hello my friends okay now if you compare this to the plate the original hey 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 hello my friends impulse response hey 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 hello my friends it's safe to say that the characteristic has been captured very nicely so, I actually export, where is it? There's the bedroom. So let's bring it into our Unreal project. It's gonna tell us that we need to import it. There we go. And let's see if the engine crashes, because for me, a lot of times when I import long IRs, the engine just crashes. But not this time. Okay, let's leave the values like they are right now. So, you need to create in your attenuation, you need to create submix sends. Okay, so first you need to create submixes. Let's go check that out. Settings, submixes, IR reverb. So I've created two submixes, and their sole purpose is to cut some low end, some bass, and put a convolution effect on it. You know, just submix effect preset, test, and then you can create the convolution reverb preset. Um, so let's check out this convolution reverb preset. Here we can check the impulse response. Let's select our bedroom response. And 
here we see that we're sending to the submix manually with you know levels it's just not for the tutorial and let's see what happens yep i can actually hear it let's make it even louder Okay, this works. So the way I switch um, the reverbs, it's really ghetto, like I'm no blueprint professional, <laughs> not at all. But all I have set up here is just a trigger volume that is registered in the blueprint. And where is it? So if the player is inside the blueprint, set the room submix level to 1 and set the hall submix level to 0 and the other way around and when the player enters the volume I'm using a timeline to set the sub submix output volumes accordingly so one gets uh, reversed the other one gets increased if that makes sense reverse from end play yeah anyway so we've looked at how we can create um, impulse responses from plugins that we use and we have imported the file into the Unreal Engine. We have created the impulse response file. We have, uh, yeah, normalization. This is maybe an interesting point. So basically it's gonna apply this gain to your impulse response before processing it. So if you have a very loud impulse response, you need to make that gain low. I'm not sure if there's like standardizations for impulse responses, not my area of expertise, but you can just make this work by listening. Um, so yeah. What else? Attenuation, yeah, you need to send to the submixes. Um, the reason why you need to send is because if you just put it through a submix, it will not be a parallel send, you know? But if you're an audio guy, you already know that. Um, reverb, submix, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, go ahead, go crazy, create your own impulse responses. Uh, using sweeps or whatever. I, for my part, had really big troubles importing long impulse responses. The game would just crash. Actually, let me show you right now. I mean, you can you can finish this video. You can kill it. Um, it's already done. It's just this one is just for the super nerds. So really nice sounds. You know, these could create some interesting impulse responses. So let's render this out. Uh, IR synth01. Okay. IR synth01. Let's import that one. Let's import that in. Uh, I'm so tired, man. Okay, import that. And uh, let's see what happens if we create an impulse response. It crashes. So that's the perfect point to stop the video, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>